You know, I never would have pegged you as a golfer the first time we met. Uh, yeah, I wasn't, but then uh, when I was down in LA, like 80% of my meetings were rounds of golf, so I got turned on to it. Yeah, I hear you. I mean, I, it's just a lot better than working in some stuffy office. I mean, we talk about the same things. Why can't we have a little fun while we talk business? I like your view. <laughs> Most do. So I think if uh, the script that you gave me is as good as you say it is, I think we got a really great film going. Excellent. Well, the script is as good. So what's next? Well, we got to build a budget. I know a guy who works miracles with budgets. From there, we'll do casting, we'll do location scouting, and then we'll work on a schedule after that. Fantastic. And uh, you'll also have to give me a couple weeks to get some friends and partners together from the studios, and that way we can lock this down nice and tight. All right, cool. Well, uh, then there's something I need to run by you. Shoot. All right, well, since there's going to be a couple weeks of downtime, uh, I just got a, a phone call from an old producer friend of mine uh, in the adult business, and he was wondering if I could shoot a, shoot a movie for him uh, now that the industry's coming back up. Wait a sec. Let me stop you right there, because I think I know where this is going. Danny, listen up. I like you, and I think the reason that people are going to like you is because you left the adult business to pursue mainstream. Key word being left. Now, if you're thinking about doing another porn film, that's going to be a deal breaker right there. You can't do porn and mainstream at the same time. It's not good for business. Now, if you just if you want to pursue this career, I'm in, and you know that. I'm a businessman, and as cool as I think you are, you're going to have to make a decision right now. I hear you. So, basically, with that being said, yeah, I mean, mainstream's always been my my first choice and my dream, right? So, yeah, let's tell him to find another director then. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. Listen, I gotta get going though. I'll give you a call after I finish reading the script. All right, cool. Thanks, right. Frank. You're welcome. And Danny. Yo. You're making the right choice. Thank you. Need a caddy? I thought it was you. <laughs> Holy shit, Terry. What are the odds? Golf, huh? You've changed. Yeah, well, I think we've all changed since high school. You certainly have. What was that supposed to mean? Uh, I just mean you look great. Uh, I mean, you did in high school too, but wow, that's coming out wrong. You look good. <laughs> Thanks. So do you. So are the rumors I heard true? It depends which rumors. Oh, come on. You know what I'm talking about. The ones about you being a big time porn director. Uh, they were true. Not anymore. Oh, what happened? Well, a lot of things. To make a long story short, though, uh, it was never my real passion. And uh, mainstream movies always were, so that's what I'm doing now. And uh, actually, I got my first movie. No, oh, little Danny left, moving up in the world. I'm trying to, so who told you about the porn thing? Besides everyone. Tommy Rizzuto was a first. I can't believe you still talk to that guy. He was such an asshat. I mean, he used to call me a fag and shoot thumbtacks at me with an elastic. Still the scars. <laughs> I remember that. Well, I don't talk to him. I just ran into him. He sells hot dogs at hockey games now. He's not moving up. Yes, karma's a bitch. Yeah, that and he was as dumb as a friggin' tennis ball. Yeah, so what are you up to now? I just finished school, took a course that's pretty much useless at Edmonton. But maybe not now since I ran into you. Oh yeah? What, what course? Uh, film and theater makeup. Um, I always wanted to be a makeup artist, so I thought, why not actually take the course? Hmm. Well, maybe I'll get you your first movie. That would be pretty awesome. Hey, I have an idea. How about we meet up later for a couple drinks and catch up? And maybe make out a little bit? Some things that never change, do they? <laughs> I thought I'd throw it in there. Always. So how about 7 o'clock at Shade? Yeah, sure. Here's my, my card, actually. It's an old card. Old numbers, uh, new numbers on the back. Danny, California, hey? It had a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I gotta get going. I'll call you later and see you tonight. Yeah, you certainly will. Hello? Oh, hey Danny, how's it going? Listen, we've known each other for a long time, so uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a mainstream movie greenlit, and the producer says if it's gonna stay greenlit, I can't do another adult film, so I'm kinda out. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know, mainstream's always been my, my main passion, so... Well, Danny, you know I'm happy for you, man. But if you're out, do you know anybody that can replace you? Because, you know, we want this movie to be great. Yeah, actually, call Eli Ross. Uh, him and I are very similar in our film styles, at least. I know he'll do you right. Well, hey, you don't mind if we still use your script? Uh, yeah, No, you can have it, for sure. No problem. Well, you know, we're really sad that you're not coming out. You know, we'd love to have you. 
Ah, I'll be out there eventually and I'll let you know when I come back. Excellent. Well, all right, Danny. Keep in touch and hey, don't get all Hollywood on me, all right? I won't. All right, Bruce. Take care. Bye. Oh, who do you think I am? Are you Danny California, the porn producer? Yeah, I guess I am. Holy shit, I knew it. This is epic. I heard you were from around here, but I never believed it. Yeah, this is home. For now. Matt, you're like every guy's idol. You must love your job. Well... Oh, wait. You hold on. Two seconds. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, sure. Sign this for me? <laughs> just drive around porn in your car? No, no, I literally just bought it right now. I don't want to sound lame, but I have all your movies. Alright, that's cool. You got a, got a pen? Yeah, I do. And cool. hey, what's your name? Aaron. Cool, Aaron. There you go. Thank you so much, oh, man. No problem, dude. Well, I'll let you go. I know you probably got lots of things to do. It was nice meeting you. You too. Danny, I've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. Hey, sorry, my phone's off. Danny, you and Rachel were pretty close, I understand. Yeah, wait, were? Did she say something? No. Danny, Rachel got into a car accident on the way to work this morning. The police called the office to let me know. Oh my god, is she okay? No. What? She died on the way to the hospital. She's dead? Sorry, Danny. <laughs>